So what are the best detailing products that you can get at your local Walmart in 2023? Well, I headed over to my local store to walk through and really give you an explanation of which products I think are the best. Now again, this is what I think, so take that with a grain of salt, but as someone who's been detailing cars professionally for the last 18 years, these are the items that I would go with. So I'm gonna break this into three different categories. We're gonna go exterior, interior, and then sort of tools and accessories. Now before we get into this, I wanna note that I know not every single Walmart is gonna have the same stuff. There's many, many stores in my local area and I went to the one that I know carries the most amount of product, just so I can give a good range. I'm gonna try and cover a few different items per category so you guys have options. And just as a reminder, I'm gonna have all of this stuff linked down in the description for you guys so you don't have to take notes or anything like that. Just go down in the description, you'll be able to find it there. I'm gonna link it to uh, the Amazon listing as well as the Walmart listing. So if you don't wanna go to the store and you just wanna order it off Amazon, it's available for you there as well. Prices obviously will be a little bit different, um, but just keep that in mind. But these are the items that I would go with and starting with item number one in the sort of exterior category, and that is going to be car wash soaps. So there's a few different soaps, obviously Chemical Guys, Turtle Wax, uh, Meguiar's, Suds Lab, Jay Leno's Garage, and the two that I'm really gonna highlight here is Meguiar's Gold Class and the Turtle Wax Max Power. Why am I talking about these two? Well, mostly because phenomenal, phenomenal value. Meguiar's Gold Class foams well, has a ton of lubrication for your contact wash, so I really like the product. I think it's a good value. They have a 48 ounce bottle. It comes in $9.67, so you're basically 20 cents per ounce. You'll typically use between two and four ounces on a foam cannon, and then same thing for the wash bucket, you know, an ounce of two ounces, and you'll be good to go. So plenty of value for sure from the Meguiar's Gold Class Car Wash Soap. Now the other one that I wanted to highlight is the Turtle Wax Max Power. Again, value here is phenomenal. Uh, it's $6.97. Uh, the reason I'm talking about this one though is because it varies on the pH scale. The more you use, the more the pH is increased, higher pH is more alkaline and gives it more cleaning ability, more chance for it to break down the contamination on the paint. Now this stuff is $6.97 and actually comes to only seven cents per ounce. So really, really good value. But I will note, it doesn't foam super well unless you're going with that maximum concentration. And when you're doing that, you are using quite a bit of product. So just Keep that in mind, your cost per use case isn't the best, but price per ounce is very, very low. Now to go along with washing the car, this isn't something you have to do every time, but if you want to, let's talk about clay and clay treatments for your vehicle available at Walmart. So moving on to the clay, there's two options at my local store. We have the Meguiar's clay kit, which is fantastic. These are traditional uh, fine grade clay bars. This is traditional clay, not synthetic clay. Uh, this kit also comes with uh, a bottle of quick detailer that you can use as your clay lube. That one retails for $21.88. The other option is from Mothers, and this is the Mothers Ceramic Clay Kit. Now this one's a little bit more expensive at $27.47. However, you're getting the ceramic infused in there. But for me personally, I'm going with the Meguiar's kit because for me, clay, I kind of think of as a like 20,000 grit sandpaper. Even on a fine grade and using tons of lubrication, potentially can mar the paint. This is something that I don't wanna infuse any protection in with. Typically when I'm playing, I'm polishing afterwards just to you know, err on the side of caution. If there was anything done, I'm polishing it back out, making it all perfect, and then applying protection. I don't wanna uh, mix and, and infuse the clay with protection all in one step. Just my personal preference, but that is definitely the route I would go. I would definitely go with the Meguiar's. Now guys, on a side note, I just wanna make a, a, a little mention of this. These are the new Ultra Clay uh, pads and, and they have wash mitts, uh, sponges, and a towel, I believe. This is from uh, the Rag Company. I just started playing with these and I absolutely love them. I'm actually going to be stocking these on my site. I'm gonna order them so you guys can buy them on my site, but they're also available on Amazon or the Rag Company's website and other places. So I just wanted to make a note, these are phenomenal. I'll be doing a dedicated video on this at some point here, but just wanted to make a note in this video, if you are interested in claying your car, I really, really like these. Okay, let's move on to category number three, and that's cleaning up your wheels and tires. Now, right off the bat, I wanna talk about the Hot Rims lineup from Meguiar's. Uh, I like those, and they are specific to uh, different kinds of categories for your wheels. Obviously, they have the black wheel cleaner, that I wasn't super, super impressed with. It did a good job, but it just didn't seem like anything special to me compared to some of the other products. But the Meguiar's Hot Rims Wheel and Tire is a great choice. That's $6.97, so that comes to 29 cents per ounce for that size bottle. You also have the option to go with Meguiar's Ultimate All-Wheel Cleaner. That's also a great choice. Uh, slightly more expensive though, $10.97, comes to 46 cents per ounce 
But again, interchangeable. I like all those products. They all do a decent job. My favorite option that they have at Walmart though is the Suds Lab Zero Acid Wheel Cleaner. It's just very professional grade, does a fantastic job. I like that product a lot. Comes in a 32 ounce trigger sprayer bottle, uh, $14.97. So again, 46 cents per ounce, matching the cost of the Ultimate Wheel uh, from Meguiar's. And then if you're looking for a super budget friendly option that works very, very well, uh, this is kind of one of those secret ones. You see it, you think it's so cheap, it's not gonna work. It's in the Turtle Wax older style, a really bright green bottle. But that is the Turtle Wax wheel and tire. Uh, it's got kind of a foaming sprayer. It cleans onto the surface and does a really good job. And at $4.97, guys, really, really phenomenal value. That comes to 21 cents per ounce. So that's the cheapest per ounce uh, option from Walmart. And I think it does a good job. So uh, mid-range, you got the Meguiar's products. They all work very, very well. I like those a lot. Um, on the higher end, you have the Suds Lab. That would be my go-to. But if you want a nice, cheap option, you can't go wrong with that turtle wax wheel and tire. It does a good job and is a really, really good price. Now moving on to the next category, the vehicle is all cleaned. The wheels and tires are cleaned. The paint surface is clean and clayed if you want to. Let's talk about compounds and polishes. And this is a simple one for me. Meguiar's Ultimate Compound is definitely the choice I would go to for the compounds. And then they used to carry the Meguiar's Ultimate Polish as well. I never see it in my local stores anymore, so I think it's gone. So in that case, I would go with the Turtle Wax Compounding Polish. That stuff's a really good deal. Um, not, I, I really like the Ultimate Polish. If they had that, that's what I would go with. But since they don't, I would go with the Turtle Wax. Now obviously they also have the Chemical Guys lineup of compounds and polishes. Just for me personally, I've never liked the compounds and polishes from Chemical Guys. I just, I haven't gotten good results with them. They may have some better ones, I just, I, I'm, out on them personally, not where I would go. I think Chemical Guys make some great products, it's just their compounds and polishes just aren't for me. Now let's get into the protection side. And for protection, I'm gonna break this down into three categories as well. Typical kind of liquid, uh, you know, hand application products, then a spray and rinse product, then your typical spray sealant that you apply and actually buff out. So starting with the liquid waxes, that is going to be the um, Meguiar's Ultimate Liquid Wax. And that kit comes with a little applicator pad and a microfiber towel, comes in at $21.88. Then they also have the hybrid ceramic wax it's the bright green bottle, and that stuff works pretty good. I, if I remember well, it's not the easiest on and off, not as easy as some of the other products, but it did do a great job of adding a ton of protection. So I do like that one. Same size bottle, it's $19.97, so actually cheaper than the liquid wax, but you're not getting the applicator and the uh, microfiber towel. Then we also have Chemical Guys Butter Wax. That's a decent wax, easy on and off, smells good. Um, I have no problem with that one as well. I like that stuff as well. Um, if I had to choose one, I would probably go with the ceramic wax or the butter wax, strictly because uh, I like the smell and the ease of use of the butter wax, but I like the extra protection of the hybrid ceramic wax. Now moving on to the spray and rinse products, obviously the Chemical Guys Hydro products you can do that with, but the three of them I'm really gonna talk about is the Meguiar's Hybrid Ceramic. It's the blue bottle, it's ceramic wax as well, it's kind of labeled the same thing, except it's the blue bottle and it's sprayable. You can apply this as the car is wet, spray it on, rinse it off, you're adding tons of protection, which is fantastic and nice and easy to use. Length of protection isn't as long for me personally. I don't think it's as long as something that like a spray and seal product afterward the fact or a traditional liquid wax, but uh, the, the ease of use is phenomenal. Again, you have the Hydro Slick products from, from Chemical Guys. Um, those I'm, I, I like, but not as much. I think I like this one better. And then also, we also do have the Suds Lab Ceramic Spray. Um, it's their Hydro Coat, and that product is, I, I, I'm confused on the price because uh, it's only $12.97 for a 32 ounce bottle, which is a phenomenal value. Very, very good price. Versus the Meguiar's is a smaller bottle, I think 24 ounces, and that one comes in at $19.97. So the Suds Lab is definitely gonna be my choice here. Um, same thing as the car is wet, spray it on there, rinse it off, and you're good to go. Suds Lab for the win on this one. Um, and then also Turtle Wax has their three-in-one detailers. I think you can do that one wet as well. If I, I can't remember specifically or if it was one of their other products, but um, also a good product. Now moving on to the sprayable sealants and ceramics. This is an awesome category and I think that they work very, very well. Uh, number one is the Suds Lab Ceramic Spray Sealant. Now to be perfectly honest with you guys, I have never used that product. I'm going to be using it and testing it out, but I haven't at the time of filming this video. So um, I will say 
Phenomenal value. Again, that one comes out at $12.97, at least at my local store. And I have a lot of confidence in Suds Labs products. The products that I have used from them, I really, really like. So I don't have any uh, hesitation in recommending that to you guys. Um, if you used it, comment down below and let me know how you like it because um, some of the other, other products are, have been fantastic. Next up after that would be the Turtle Wax 3-in-1 Ceramic Detailer. You're gonna be able to do a nice detailing finish up as well as adding some ceramic protection. Again, not a full-blown ceramic here, but some protection. Um, and that one retails for $14.97. And then finally, for a final spray and uh, seal ceramic type product, we have the Cerakote Rapid Ceramic paint sealant, and that for sure is going to be my choice. That one's the most expensive when you look at it price per ounce, but the protection that you get out of that product and the longevity of it, by far my, my, my choice there for sure. The Cerakote Rapid Ceramic uh, is gonna be the win there. Now moving on to paint enhancement. If you just want to add some sort of a spray on product that's gonna make your paint pop, sort of hide some imperfections and things like that, there's two options here. Again, the Rapid Ceramic from Cerakote, even though it doesn't really advertise that, it does do a fantastic job of darkening the panels and hiding some of the imperfections. The other option is going to be the Meguiar's Insane Shine Paint Glosser. I did a, a, a test in the past reviewing a bunch of the different paint enhancement products, gloss enhancers, and for me, even though the Meguiar's didn't um, rate highest with using a gloss meter, visually, it made the most impact by far. It did a really good job of filling in imperfections and making the panel pop much, much better. So that one I definitely recommend. Again, I think it's a good uh, one-two combo, that Cerakote and then keeping that Meguiar's as like a, I I'm using that stuff a lot to be perfectly honest on a, as a final wipe down on a car, just to add a little bit of pop and uh, really make it, make it look good for the customer. Now the car's washed, protected, all that kind of good stuff. The last thing we had to do is dress up the tires. And for that, I personally prefer a water-based style sprayable dressing. So I don't know if these are all water-based, but they are a similar thing versus like some of the other products that are like a silicone based or whatever. You can feel the kind of oily. Uh, so the options here are Chemical Guys Tire Kicker, uh, Ceramic Tire Shine from Meguiar's. That's one of their newer ones. I've been using it. Um, it works well. It's not like amazing, but it works very, very well. Uh, and then also Suds Lab Tire and Trim. My choice, again, as the, on the professional side, I'm going Suds Lab here, um, but Chemical Guys Tire Kicker and Ceramic Tire Shine are both gonna get the job done. Ceramic Tire Shine from Meguiar's does smell really good, um, but the Suds Lab, you can use on the tires, you can use on the trim of the vehicle, so that would be my choice there for sure. Okay, now we are done with the exterior of the car. Uh, uh, Obviously you could do something with glass. You could use some sort of glass cleaner. Personally though, I always just use water, so I'm not gonna recommend anything to you other than that. That's what I use. So I would just use water, a nice microfiber towel, and clean up your windows nicely that way to a streak-free finish. I did a whole video on that. I'll link it up here for you guys so you can check that out. Okay, now, so for the interior cleaners, the selection at my local store isn't as good as the exterior, for sure. They're gonna have brands like Armor All, uh, Suds Lab, uh, Turtle Wax, uh, Jay Leno's Garage, things like that. But if we're talking about an interior cleaner that I'm gonna have the most confidence in and know that I can get through things, I can dilute it down if I need to, if it's not too bad of an interior, but it's also gonna have enough uh, punch to it to really clean the dirtier stuff. So I'm gonna go with the Suds Lab N2 Interior Cleaner. It's a great product. You can use it pretty much on every single surface of the vehicle. Uh, interior uh, and it, it does a really good job. So at $14.97, again, you can dilute it down if you want to, uh, if you don't need that much cleaning power and you just want a nice finish, then that's a great choice. Now, if your vehicle isn't as dirty and you want to just clean it and protect it in one step with some UV protection and some anti-static properties, there's a few options there. We've got the Turtle Wax Interior Quick Detailer, cleans and protects in one step. It's also on the Flarisol trigger, which is a fantastic trigger. You don't want to go crazy with it on the interior because you can get tons of overspray, but still just apply it to your, your towel, buff it in, you'll be good to go. Then similar to that, we have Chemical Guys Total Interior. That's a product that I really, really like from Chemical Guys. Again, it's very, very easy to use. It smells good, just apply it. It's gonna add some protection. It's not gonna darken anything. It's not, it's not a dressing or anything like that, but it's gonna add UV protection, has light cleaning ability, fantastic product. Um, between that one and the Total Interior, um, I don't know, very, very similar to me. I have, to be perfectly honest, I have more experience with the uh, total interior from Chemical Guys, so I'd probably lean that way just because I'm more comfortable with it, but I really, really like the uh, Flarisol trigger on those Turtle Wax products. And then the third option is one that I would go with if I want to darken up some of the interior components of the vehicle, get a little bit of a, a nice, like, kind of flatter satin sheen to it, 
It's not gonna be a high gloss, but it's something that's gonna add protection, have some cleaning ability, all that kind of good stuff. Again, that's gonna be from Suds Lab, and that is going to be their interior detailer with UV protection in it. So again, fantastic product from them. Um, as far as the interior goes, again, if you have heavier, dirtier stuff, I'm going for sure with the interior cleaner from Suds Lab. If you're just doing a basic cleanup and, and protection, I would go with the Turtle Wax or the Chemical Guys. And then if you wanna darken up the panels, add UV protection on your plastic specifically, I'd go with the uh, interior dressing detailer, sorry, interior detailer from Suds Lab. Now, if your car has leather, there's two options at my local store that I would go with. Uh, obviously, there's a bunch of wipes and things like that. If you're just wanting to maintain your leather, uh, customers now ask me all the time, hey, what should I get? And I go, I, I get you're not gonna go through the whole process, you just wanna maintain it quickly. Get some wipes, rub it on it, it's better than nothing for sure. But for me, the two options are going to be Turtle Wax Leather Detailer. Again, this is on a Flarisol trigger, so you're gonna get good coverage, buff it in, you're good to go. Or the Jay Leno's Garage, it's a more traditional kind of liquid uh, that you would apply on a microfiber and rub it in. So those two options are great. I would go for longevity, I'd probably go with the, the Jay Leno's, I just feel like it's gonna saturate into the leather more. However, I will say most people's leather today, it's not a full-blown aniline type leather. They're, they are coated with a clear coat type of thing. So either of those I think is gonna do a fantastic job. Okay, we are finally into category number three, tools and accessories. And within that, we're gonna talk about two more specialty products. And again, that's just a headlight kit and then a trim coating kit. And both of those for me personally, absolutely go to Cerakote. Cerakote headlights and Cerakote trim coat uh, for sure. Now let's talk about microfiber towels. Obviously they have a bunch of packs of microfiber towels. My store in particular was a little low on those um, from Platinum and, and they have another brand. I can't remember what the other one is right now, but the Platinum series ones um, are, are decent. I like, you know, they'll do, do a good job. Um, and especially their new ones that they just came out with. I did a whole video review of those specifically not too long ago. And there was two that really stick out to me, uh, but one in particular was their two pack of twist Terry drying towels. They're smaller. They're a lower quantity of polyamide in the, in the blend. Um, typically I use an 80-20 or 75-25 on my drying towels, but these are an 87-13. However, I've used them. I've been testing them out. They're not scratching cars. They're doing a good job absorbing, uh, absorbing all the water. I like them. They're a fantastic value too. Two pack for 10 bucks. So that's a great option for you. And then there's another drying towel. Uh, this is gonna be the one from Chemical Guys. It's a larger, just kind of a, a plush drying towel. Uh, but that one's 20 bucks. I personally would probably lean to the other ones, unless it's a car that's like in pristine condition, a show car that has black paint with zero flake in it. And I'm really, really, really worried. Um, I probably wouldn't use those platinum ones just in case but then I probably wouldn't want to use that Chemical Guys one either just in case. So if you have a car like that, you're probably not shopping at Walmart for your detailing products anyway. So just keep that in mind. And then finally, there is a Chemical Guys three pack of plush microfiber towels. They're 16 by 16 in size at $3.33 a towel. They're, you could probably find a better value somewhere else, but for being at Walmart and, and readily available to just buy right there, those are good towels. I would pick those up for my paint work. A couple more specialty items, guys. Wheel brushes. Uh, I would go with the softer uh, uh, headed ones. I don't like the ones that are stiff just because when you're going in and out of the barrel of the wheel, it flings back at you. So I like the ones with the softer microfiber head. Get in there, clean up the barrel. And then for the surface of the wheel, uh, I would use the Chemical Guys Wheel Works brush that they have there. Um, they have some other cheaper brushes. They're not significantly uh, cheaper though. And the Chemical Guys one, I like a lot. So I would definitely go with the Chemical Guys one and use that to clean up the, uh, the face of the wheel. If you're in a pinch, just make sure, basically if you're at your store and you, they don't have that one, just feel the bristles of the brush. You want them to be soft so that you're not causing any scratching. If it's a regular silver wheel, it's not a big deal, but if you have a gloss black wheel, it'll show scratching, and so you wanna minimize that as much as possible. Foam cannons. They have a couple foam cannons. In the detailing spe uh, section specifically, they have the Chemical Guys Big Mouth. I have that one, I've tested it. For $100, it doesn't get as much foam as say the MJJC foam cannons or the MTM or the Griot's Boss. So it, it gets an equivalent amount of foam as like the cheaper foam cannons on Amazon. I think it's a very good looking unit, um, but for a hundred bucks, I would, I would pass. I just, I wouldn't recommend that one. If you go over to the other section where they sell the pressure washers, it's kind of over in like the hardware stuff. Um, sometimes they will have the Sunjo um, foam cannon 
and that one's like 20 or 30 bucks. I would go with that one for sure. Again, not crazy foam production, but if you're in a pinch and you need one, uh, that's the one I would do. I wouldn't spend the 100 bucks on the one from uh, Chemical Guys over there. And then last but not least, they have some uh, disc microfiber applicator pads. Those are great, they do a great job. You can use them to apply tire dressings or interior stuff. Um, you could also use them to apply wax, I guess. I always use a polisher, so I, I, I don't have any experience with that. And then a few other cool uh, items. They have some uh, silicone bladed uh, brushes that would be good for, or decent at least, for removing pet hair. And then also they have a pack of detail swabs. Very, very cheap. These are very, very similar to the ones from Max Shine from my appearance, from the appearance at least. Uh, they're not a tr traditional cotton swab. They have kind of a variation of the material. So I like those as well. If you're in a pinch and you need something like that, I think those will do just fine. So that's it guys. I just wanted to highlight the best products from Walmart for 2023, at least in my opinion. Um, those are them. So I hope that video helps you. Again, I'll have everything linked in the description below for you guys. But that's it for today's video. Please make sure to like the video. Make sure you subscribe, turn on that notification bell, and we'll see you on the next one.